How's it going, boys? My name is Schlatt. Welcome back to the Weekly Slap. I hope you guys are all doing well. Since we last spoke, Jambo has gone from being scared of the Christmas tree to completely just utterly conquering it. I'm going to throw a picture up screen. Dude takes it upon himself multiple times a day now to just scale the entire thing. I don't know why he's doing it, but it is ruining the tree and I'd really like it to stop. Hey, look, anyways, we got another message from a viewer and they're asking about procrastination. So it's probably fitting if we just jump right into it. How can I stop unhealthy habits? I'm a freshman in high school and I've been made fun of for a really long time. I've been struggling to make friends for a while and I've developed really bad anxiety after quarantine, which hasn't helped. I hate talking about getting anxiety attacks and I haven't told anyone that I've been having them. And I have this really bad habit of not being able to ask for help when I definitely need it. It's gotten to the point where I just don't want to get up anymore, dreading the day that hasn't even happened yet. My room is a mess and I feel so unproductive, especially when procrastinating when it comes to assignments or just laying in bed playing the same Mario Kart track over and over again, instead of giving the dog the attention or exercise he needs, and it just makes me feel disgusting in my own skin. How can I fix my procrastination problem, or just telling someone that I'm struggling, when all expectations that my parents have of me is to just suck it up? You're a big inspiration to me, man. Hope to see more content in the future, and give Jambo a pet for me when you can. Well, when he's down from the tree, I'll, <laughs> I'll let him know you called. Look, I don't know, there's no easy way to say this. Uh, so the rats are gonna absolutely hate this announcement, but uh, change has to start with you. That's the way it's always been. I mean, you can have a bunch of people in your court who really care about you uh, and really wanna see you succeed. And you could have a bunch of people in your court who don't want that. And the outcome will be the same if you are not proactive about your situation. And I don't, I don't have like a, I'm not gonna give you like a little diagnosis of like what, what exactly you need to do. But I can tell you, at least from my personal experience, there is a strategy that works towards feeling bad about how much work you have and, and your inability to get all of it done. Um, here's what I do. And I've talked about this at, at length on this channel already, but I, life is a game of momentum. A year ago, I used the metaphor of pushing a car up a hill. It's extremely hard to get the car moving to, to start a habit or start working towards whatever you want. Um, but once you're, once you're going, it gets easier. And the second you slip up and the car starts slipping again, starts falling back down the hill, it gets harder and harder to get it back going again. And dude, like the best way to stop procrastinating is to just start doing shit. And I know it sounds very simple and, and uh, almost tongue in cheek, but it's true. There's a book I read recently from a retired Navy SEAL. Uh, William McRaven is his name. It's called Make Your Bed. And it's mainly about his experience in the SEALs. Obviously, it's a very regimented, uh, hard lifestyle. And uh, he basically writes about all the stuff he learned there and, and the experiences he had that, uh, that can translate into, you know, most people's lives. And the first chapter is literally just make your bed. That's it. That is the, that is the first thing he says you should do every morning. Just think about it from a SEAL's perspective. Like, he knew he had a shit day ahead of him in training. And so he'd get up, he'd make his bed. Obviously, he had to. Right. I mean, I'm pretty sure they would have made his whole like squad run a fucking marathon if he didn't. But he, he made his bed and he treated that like the first victory of the day. Like that was the first thing he did. That that is what got the ball rolling. And that's what got the car moving up the hill for the day. Making your bed is this way, even in r normal life where you're not a fucking Navy SEAL. You don't have to you don't have to kill people uh, is a way to feel like you're up and ready to tackle the day and ready to be productive. Now think about how you'd feel if you just rolled out of bed. You're like, Ugh, you did that thing that every guy does when he when he fucking hits the alarm and he just kind of sits up in the bed and stares at the floor for for ten minutes straight, just like <sighs> you just feel like shit. You know, you can do that every morning, and no one's gonna be there to tell you otherwise or to like force you to do anything. And that, <laughs> dude, as you get older, it only becomes more of the case. Sounds a little depressing, but it, it, it just speaks to that fact that like you need to be doing things. And if you start each day with j just a small little win, you'll feel better about yourself. And by extension, you'll feel better about the day in front of you. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It can literally just be making your bed because every time you see it, you'll be like, yeah, I fucking already did something today. And it sounds so stupid, but it's like a very small switch that flips every morning and you'll just feel a little bit better. Anything at the beginning of the day that you can choose to be proactive about the second you get up uh, will help you set the tone for a day of doing instead of a day of wishing you could do. It is insane how much more motivated I feel when I get up and I 
literally just put on a nice pair of pants and a t-shirt that fits nicely instead of just like a ratty graphic tee and gym shorts. I had this day uh, a couple days ago where I just woke up and I wore the same exact thing I did yesterday. Like I didn't even change out of it. Didn't shower nothing. I was, I was disgusting. And, I, and no surprise, right? No surprise. I felt like shit and I didn't feel like I was capable of doing anything. And then halfway through the day, something snapped, and I was just like, fuck this. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. I showered. I put on some pants I liked, put on the t-shirt, nice pair of shoes, came out of the bathroom, and I was just like, all right, let's do some shit. You know, I didn't even have anywhere to go. I was just wearing shoes because I felt like, I felt like by wearing shoes, I feel like I'm like doing something, you know? You have to think about what your win is going to be. How about this? Maybe you'll get up and you'll walk the dog. Like, that's the first thing you have to do in the morning. So now you're ready, head on your chores. You're already feeling energized from the exercise, which is probably something you don't get. No offense. I mean, I, <laughs> I'm the same way. And then maybe you'll be sweaty from the walk, so you'll have to hop in the shower, right? And then you just got out of the shower, so you might as well find yourself a good outfit to put on. See, like, once you get your first W of the day, the rest kind of just fall into place. And they seem easier and easier. And that's that's the whole point. That's like the, that's the whole point of this this notion of momentum carrying you throughout the day. It makes you feel better and better. And then all of a sudden, it's not you waking up and feeling like shit and then having to tackle this huge project in front of you or an assignment you keep putting off. Now it's, okay, I've already done all this shit today and I'm feeling good about myself and I feel productive and I will be productive. Like, it's crazy how much your mindset actually affects these kinds of things. Look, obviously I'm not the perfect example of someone who has all their shit together. This stuff generally helps me for like work and productivity and getting my work for the day done. Um, to anyone listening, I mean, what is your win? What is your what are, the, what are the small wins you give yourself every morning that make you feel like you're ready? As always, want to thank you boys for watching. And I'll see you guys later.